Hello and welcome back to Advent of Code. I hope you're enjoying this series of challenges as much as I am. And today we're working on day two. So let's jump right in day two. So we have a game of rock, paper, scissors, which is simple. Uh, and I think today, like I want to make a lot of focus on uh, code quality. Um, so that maybe we can reuse what we wrote in the first challenge in the second to the inside the second challenge. I don't know if this is I don't know what's going to be the second challenge, but let's make something clean right now. So we have as usual our code. Uh, so what I usually do is I take the input here and I paste it so that we have something to work with. So here I need to say zero two. So this is uh, this was the code that is my template that I use every day. Uh, so we always want to do the three first lines to clean up the input, and then uh, we want to split a new line. And here, for each line, what do we want to do? For each line, we want to uh, line that split with a space so that we have. A and the Y. So let's do uh, console log of lines. So you see what, what's happening. Uh, day zero two dot MJS. So you see we have an array with two values for each line. That makes sense. So what I want to say is first uh, const uh, moves. What are the possible moves? One is rock. Uh, the second is uh, paper. So, and the last one is scissors. Is that the right way to write scissors? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here I'm making uh, like an enum, I would say, uh, to avoid make mistakes in the spellings. So now what we want to do is we are going to say we're going to have a function to say who wins. Um, winning wins and here actually do we care about that? Yeah, we care to know who won. So is uh, has won and here we have uh, opponent, uh, opponent move, and our move. Let's make things really simple to understand. So here we say, if, uh, how do we do? So here there is actually three options. There is winning, draw and losing. So here we're going to say, we're going to give a score actually right away. That's going to be a lot simpler. Uh, and the score is, uh, let me read that again. <laughs> okay, this is the part that is important. One for rock, two for papers, three for scissors. So we're going to use that here, rock, paper, scissors. We're going to use these numbers here. Uh, now we need to check if uh, opponent move is equal to our move. This would be a draw. We have to return uh, our move times three. Yes, I think that's the right thing. And then we need to check. Huh, now we need to make the rule. So the rule is uh, win. What, what is the winning condition when we have the open knot has a rock and we have uh, paper or the opponent has paper and we have scissors scissors I cannot make sure 
and the opponent has scissors and we have rock this is the three cases where we win so we're gonna say that if uh, opponent move is equal to moves dot rock and our move is equal to move dot paper uh, or so we have this is a bit tedious when you have to uh, encode the uh, a game rule so here i'm duplicated the line three times now we say if the opponent is paper and we have scissors or if the opponent has scissors and we have rock in this case we win so we return our move times six and otherwise here we lost and what happens when we lose it's oh wait mm -hmm. the score for a single round is the shape plus the score of the outcome of the round so no that's not a multiply that's a plus here and so here we can return uh, our move and here the, for these two things we want to pass these values so we have our scoring function and now we need to convert these lines into um, the right thing <laughs> So here for each line, we map line and we say const uh, opponent move, it's line zero, const r move equals line of one. Because that's the opponent move and that's our move. However, we need to convert this from the A to this so function oh we can actually do uh, const map input so we're gonna say if this is a, a what is a a a a rock so this is moves that rock B C what is B? B is paper and then scissors. So here we can say paper, here we can say scissors, and then we have Y oh X Y Z X let's just copy that once X y z and x is rock paper scissors rock paper scissors okay so we are good we can use that here we do map input like that and here i'm just gonna actually let's remove this console log and i'm gonna show you where we are at the moment or move I know if I made this too complicated or what <laughs> let's see uh, so opponent move is uh, one one is a rock then paper then scissors and on our end we have rock paper scissors so we have understood what the text the input is doing we have the right thing now we just need to uh, return the scoring function that we've built opponent or move now if we do that oh we don't see anything because uh, const outcomes so here we're gonna log the outcomes 
So we see for each round, what is the score? And here we can compare here. This is eight, one, and six. Eight, one, and six. So our scoring function is correct. We pass the input correctly. Uh, and now what do we need to do? We need to just sum the end. You might remember how we did the sum from the previous one. We just have a, b, we do a plus b, starting at zero, the radius is a cool function, and this is really how you do the sum in JavaScript. We have 15, so it looks like we are good. Let's just take the full input. That's quite long, 2,500 lines. We have this value. Let's see, is this correct? Ooh, the first star of the day. Let's go to part two. I'm gonna pause to read the prime statement. Oh, this is sneaky, sneaky. So basically, uh, the instructions X, Y, and Z <laughs> are not uh, rock, paper, and scissors, but they mean whether we need to win, lose, or draw. So we are just gonna be doing a little bit of copy-pasting here. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna take all of this. What we do need to change is our move. Now, here, we need to uh, guess our move from the instructions. That's what we need to do. And uh, how do we do that? Uh, basically, this contains either x, y, or z. And um, we're going to need to have like a big list. Uh, how do we do that? I think we might need to do that manually. Let me think for a second. Okay, so here I've been thinking about it, uh, and I think the only option is to make uh, a big, <laughs> a big array, a big uh, object const solution, and basically we have. Uh, We have the input, so here that's going to be A, B, or C. A, B, or C. And then we're going to have uh, the three options, which is X, Y, and Z. And for each of these options, we are going to manually write what needs to be done. So basically, if the first thing is a rock, then x means uh, we are lose. So let's write it here. Lose. Y is draw. And Z is win. So here, this is A is rock. Let's just write that so that this is su super simple. We can't make mistakes. A is rock. B is paper. And C is scissors. So to lose against rock, we need to do moves dot uh, scissors. To draw, we need to do rock, and to win, we need to do paper. So this is the yeah the basic idea of the game, and here we're just encoding the logic in in this uh, nested object. That's going to be super simple to use once we have that. So here. To draw is move dot paper. To lose it's move dot uh, rock and move dot 
scissors wins us against paper. Here this is moves dot scissors. X is moves dot um, if we want to lose against scissors we need rug and no. No no no. If we do if we play move dot rock this is winning us against scissors so here we need to play paper to lose against scissors okay we have uh, our instructions so here we say our move what is our move we do solution of line line zero so we this is a b or c of line one this x y or z and here this gives us what move we are doing let's try that uh, so what i usually like to do is to copy paste the example again just to make sure we are doing the right thing. So this is 12, let's see. Okay, this is 12 that we need, so we are good. Can just undo, and we get the full input. I run this again, and we are good. Thank you very, very much for all the nice comments on the first video of this month. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to check the next videos, drop a like if you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.